It ain't bloody come much better than that out the ground. <laughs> and that is an absolute corker. G'day folks, this is the Coffee Bush Kid in Central Vic. I'm out with Peter Uwar and we're all in the Central Victorian gold fields and we got that. Now, it's just down in there. Look how round it sounds. So, let's find out what it is. That should be enough to do it. Copper. Oh no. Harmonica reed. <laughs> Jeez, I thought I was riding a winner there for a tick. A broken harmonica reed. You do find lots of those though. Let's see what else we can find. PDU are and I are out on the edge of a of a uh, a notable town in central Victoria and uh, we're here, there's an old house site. In fact, there might be a couple of house sites. And a lot of trash, a lot of everything. Pete's got his Equinox 800 with the standard 11 inch coil. I've put my uh, settings on it for him and he's been getting quite a bit of stuff. But at the moment, uh, we've swapped detectors. So he's, he's playing with the six inch and uh, that might've sounded bad that he was playing with my six inch. Anyway, um, so, uh, he's going over areas he's just been over with that one, and, uh, he's been getting lots more signals. So I've gone a-wandering, I got, just there, I got nice signal, brass butt hinge, and then just right, sort of, a little bit further on from that, well, we pull out this, and that is a 1935 New Zealand, oh, sorry, New Guinea shilling. So, as we put it on there. There you go. Now, you hear the detector going off like that? There's a lot of electromagnetic interference here. So I actually swapped it from multi into 40 hertz. And, I don't know, three or four swings after that, pull out this. So that's an amazing find. I reckon that's a bloody ball terror. So uh, I've never found one before, and what's one doing in central Victoria? I don't know. But that's a cracker. I wasn't going to film it, but I thought, nah, everyone needs to see one of those. So there's that one, and there's that one. Really awesome. Well, here we are. I've still got Petey's detector. Again, there was a lot of noise plipping and plopping and carrying on, so I dropped it back out of multi into 40. Got the really nice distinctive, distinctive uh, signals. And, oh, oh, what's that? What is that? <sighs> Actually, we do that. Oops. I can't see that properly. I might get the squirty for my brother-in-law, and uh, so I don't rub the silver coin, and I'll be back in a tick. And that is a Queen Victoria sixpence. It's pretty bloody worn. Look at that side. You can just see the wreath. I don't know whether I'll get a bloody date on it. Oh, I might. I'll have to get a magnifying glass from home. But yeah, that's, um, there she is with her veiled head by the looks. Yeah, that's better. So, if you're getting lots of jumpy, jumpy signals and sounds like electromagnetic interference, uh, 
drop it out of multi. I saw Sid do this when he was out with Marky Mark a couple of years ago. Drop it out of multi frequency. Um, I've done it a few times and found that 40 hertz is really nice. Um, so, yeah, it's working. We'll see what else we can get. Right now, I'm still in 40 hertz, and just over there was where I got the sixpence. Now I've come back here, still on with Petey's um, detector. Got a signal here. You can see all the the crap and stuff, and there was yeah, all this tin and everything, rusty crap, it was all in the hole. With that religious uh, medal of some description it's the biggest one I found of them uh, everything looks like they might be aluminium by the way that it's been degraded but um, still religious or not that's a pretty cool finder pull out of the ground in amongst a whole lot of crap. Now, I've been over this area with my Equinox in just standard factory pre-settings and so forth, not doing anything major. Now that I'm running this discrimination program that I've tweaked, um, yeah, we're just pulling stuff out right, left and centre. It's bloody amazing. Anyway, we'll see what else we can find. Up there, old house site, and somewhere over there is Peter Uar. He's buddy out with me again today. We've come out here. He's, uh, in fact, you can just see. No, he's he stopped moving now. Anyway, there's a shovel moving up there. We've just come out to an old house site. We've both been out here before. I was out here last weekend. And got a few. Uh, bits and pieces i've got an australian military button today and i got a really really sweet um what was it 23 22 23 just just in the smallest of area and you go yes that's why i'm using the old six inch coil and when you come out with something like that which is our 1924 threepence of George the uh, Fifth. You've got to be, you've got to be happy. Where is he? Uh, up that way would be better. There we go. 1924 threepence. Uh, probably a bit there. So, hey, don't call the old six inch coil the threepence magnet for nothing. This is great. We'll see what else we can find. There's my threepence hole. Straight down here. I've got that. Now, I can't read what's on it. It needs cleaning up. But that's a pretty cute little find. And we'll find out what it says in a tick. Well, me and my eyes, as you know, aren't the best. I don't even know what that says. Someone will be able to go, oh, that's what it says straight away. I'll have to see it under a magnifying glass. Whatever it is, though, it's pretty neat. We'll see what else we can find. Well, that medallion -y thing or whatever it was, I realize i was looking at it upside down threepence hole there there we go queen victoria half penny i can't read the date but it's one of the early ones where the date's not on the back under britannia but that is still pretty cool so i am down here Petey's up there there's been a house site, and this is just rubbish. Working on gravity, I'm just, well you can see there where I'm playing around at, just at the drop off. And all this stuff, it's all coming in down around here. So I've 
I've just been in here, just poking around with me little six incher. And uh, yeah, we are getting the goods. That's pretty neat. Over there, that's Peter Uwa's feet. <laughs> and he and I are on an old property. Uh, that's a mulberry tree and right behind it, up there, that's a big old olive. Now, I got this funny signal, but there were 30s and 29s and all sorts of stuff. And I dug out that hole. And when I turned the hole over and sort of broke it, see that? Well, that was what came out of it. Uh, we're going to get a better shot. No, let's try for that. A Queen Victoria. Look at that. And it is... Oh, I just filthied it. There you go. It's an 1881 shilling. And as Petey said, they don't bloody come much better than that out the ground. <laughs> and that is an absolute corker. I'm just about to give up, just about to head off. And Pete said, no, no, no. I'm just getting some signals around here. So I sort of went out a little bit wider and got this one. Thought, ah, oh, stuff it, I'll dig it. And I did. And that's what we got. Bloody amazing. There we go, there's a better shot. Have a look at that. All right, well, I'm gonna sign off now, but this is the spot. It's starting to get late in the afternoon. You can see by all the strappy grasses and the uh, wormwood and so forth. Been something here. We've had a great time. We've learnt about dropping out a multi into single frequency. Uh, both Pete and I did it and we, we got some good stuff. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Anyway, keep in mind, always good to fill in some of your day detecting. But remember to fill in all your holes when you finish. We'll catch you next time.